Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 136. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him alone who doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. I hope you're starting to get the point there, his mercy endureth forever. Probably one of the greatest subjects in the entire Bible is the mercy of God. I love Lamentations that says his mercies are new every day. Great is thy faithfulness. When we focus on his mercy rather than our circumstances, life is going to get a whole lot easier. That doesn't mean we're not going to be without trials. We're not going to be without sorrows. It also means we're not going to be without victories and we're not going to be without mountaintops. But it means all of those things are anchored around the spoke of his mercy. And you think about it, it's his mercy that saves us, his mercy that separates us, his mercy that uh, just guides and directs us in our lives. Uh, all through the Bible, maybe David was a man after God's own heart because he recognized the mercy of God. Constantly focusing on, uh, he'll direct his praise, he'll direct his worship toward the Lord because of the, his great mercies. Uh, too often, Christianity today is self-focused rather than Savior-focused. It's self-centered rather than Savior-centered. But we need to get back to the type of Christianity that puts sacrifice for the Savior before comfort for the Christian. Uh, there's too much of that in today's Christianity. It's all focused on what do I get out of it not what has he done for me, why would I not sacrifice everything I have for him? One of the greatest illustrations of that's found in the Bible. God came to Abraham and said, take your only son and go sacrifice him. And Abraham didn't question it. I've heard sermons about Abraham must have questioned, but no, Hebrews tells us he immediately obeyed because he had faith in God realizing that even if he sacrificed Isaac, God could put the pieces back together and reconstitute Isaac. But what a picture of mercy. When he asked Abraham for the ultimate sacrifice of his old age, Isaac had to be about 38 years of age. Many typologies in that story of Christ and his sacrifice for us. But the one I don't want us to miss this morning is the mercy of God. That was the ram caught in the thicket. He said, now I know that you believe. He didn't excuse Abraham from the sacrifice. Instead, he had mercy on Abraham and provided a sacrifice. And that's what Jesus did for you and I. And when we get our eyes focused on money, uh, on fame, fortune, on a reputation down here, uh, the things of this earth, it makes the heart of God sad because he has been so merciful. Let's be merciful to other people. Let's be merciful to ourselves. I know Christians that just carry such a burden of guilt around. Jesus has set you free from that. That's why you can come to Psalm 136 and give thanks unto the Lord, worship the Lord, love the Lord because he has set us free. But he set us free to serve him. And because of his mercies, we have strength to serve him every day. I hope you'll take the time to read all of Psalm 136. It is a Psalm of degrees. They would read this or memorize and quote it on their way to Jerusalem as they were there for feasts and for the Passover and for uh, uh, other tabernacles and the sacrifices that they did. But more important than that for you and I, the principle still applies. Take some time every day to worship the Lord. Be grateful for all he's done, all he will do, and all he's going to do. I don't always understand it, and you won't either, but his way is much better than our way. His way is full of mercy. 
Our way is full of selfishness. Let's choose to follow his way and his mercies today. God bless you and have a great day.